Well, hello and welcome to Quincy Access Television's live coverage of the 68th Annual Quincy Christmas Festival Parade. I'm Joe Catalano and joined by Christine Cheever here at the Anchor Desk. Hi, Christine. Yeah, hi there. So excited to be here. We've put uh, Thanksgiving behind us and I hope you all enjoyed with your family and friends. And we're ready for the Christmas holiday parade today here in Quincy. Absolutely. It's great to be back. Uh, of course, we were not able to uh, bring it to you. There's no parade in 2020, so uh, a lot has changed in a very yes. short period of time and it is back and bigger and better than ever. We are expecting something like 15 marching bands, uh, nine floats mm -hmm. in the parade this year, many, many specialty units as well. Some great old standbys will be here too. Uh, we're expecting the Hallamore Clydesdales yes. to parade down Hancock Street. And also a visit from a special guest named Santa Claus. Absolutely. So that's always a big hit uh, too and then that officially kicks off the holiday season. That's right. Of course, uh, the parade today accommodates uh, an entire week of festivities here in the city of Quincy. Uh, actually began back on Thanksgiving Day, of course, with yes. the, the 89th annual Thanksgiving Day uh, football game, a yes. real nail biter at Veterans Memorial Stadium, awesome. just right across Marymount Parkway here. And uh, congratulations to the Red Raiders for their big uh, come from behind wins in the last uh, minute of the game. That was just fantastic. Then, of course, Friday night, all the lights got switched on in Quincy Center. Yes, uh, it looked so festive there, all the lights and, and great crowds there with Mayor Coke uh, and just a wonderful celebration. Absolutely. Kids enjoyed uh, some of the costumed characters and some uh, warm refreshments. Yes. yes. Uh, and then, of course, yesterday, uh, Santa now no more parachuting into pageant field. I so noticed that yes. he, he arrived very, uh, I say, very kind of cool, right? First class yes. helicopter <laughs> ride Yes. <laughs> right into pageant field. And uh, there was there was a little question that was pretty windy yesterday, but yes. uh, you know Santa, he doesn't let the weather uh, keep him down. No, no, he doesn't. I, I remember in years past, uh, he would always parachute down. That's right. And this year they changed it yep. to first class yep. travel. He's, I like know, that. Stepped it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he got an upgrade, as he will, at the, at the airport. Yeah, uh, and of course today here we are for the uh, for the parade. The uh, the uh, really the pinnacle of folks that come back year after year yes. here in Quincy to see this with their family and friends. And it's the 68th annual parade, and it's getting kicked off here. And as always, Quincy Police Department leads the way on uh, two wheels, either pedal power or motorcycle power and it's a little cool here today we it's not balmy <laughs> it feels like the holiday season uh, it does indeed yes it absolutely but we're does. bundled up and ready to go it's not raining it's not snowing no it's a, it's a good day for a parade and actually this year this will not be the end of the festivities because there's a brand new park in quincy center called the general's park yeah and bridge and there will be a lighting ceremony there Saturday at, at uh, 5 p.m. This oh, coming wonderful. Saturday, so that will 4th. finish off That's right. the festivities. Yeah. And that particular ceremony will honor all of the active uh, servicemen and women oh. who are in uh, the, the branches of the military. Oh, terrific. Here we have a motorcycle unit from, of course, Quincy, of course, but other departments as well. Uh, the MBTA police are here. Departments from all over the South Shore send their uh, specialty units uh, to the parade yeah, to I lead it off. And I see Milton police are also here. Norfolk County Sheriff always has a strong presence mm -hmm. in the parade unit. I see our neighbor Weymouth. Absolutely. Just kind of wakes everybody up. And yes, gets <laughs> us ready to go. That's right. Yeah, so we could hear them from a bit away even before we went on the air. Yes, so yeah, they we were ready to go. This parade starts right down at the Hancock Adams, even before the Hancock Adams Common. <laughs> Makes its way up Hancock Street, about three miles, all the way to North Quincy High School. So there are folks, of course, lining the parade routes all, all through along. the city. A lot of people I know have celebrations in their homes uh, during this time. Yes, and hopefully they have this Channel 8 on. Certainly. To, we to watch live. Hope to bring it to them for sure. We'll be seeing the uh, welcome banner in just a moment. And we are located right at Marymount Parkway and Hancock Street, right at Central Middle School. So That's we have right. a great view 
of all the action today. And there you do see the welcome banner. Looks like last year's <laughs> banner. <laughs> oh, yes. We, because it. Oh. Well, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't have a '67. We didn't so. really, <laughs> right? So we <laughs> we're going by the year. That's right. 2021, right? <laughs> yes. City of Quincy and the Quincy Foundation bring you the 68th <laughs> annual Quincy Christmas Parade. The, uh, and the mayor's office has a lot to do with the planning, correct? <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> all of the to yes, do with the planning, that's absolutely. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> There's the police color guard, of course. See Chief uh, Keenan. And you can hear them before you see yes. them. The Boston Police column of pipes and drums. The Gala com column will be coming into view soon. Here they are. They will be 30 years old wow. next year, actually. Formed back in 1992, the Boston Police Department. Some of them are active law enforcement officers. Some of them are retired. And they probably make their way to many festivities throughout the year. They uh, attend many parades, uh, also uh, yeah. funerals for yeah. fallen law enforcement officers. I love the sound. And they say they are dedicated to preserving the heritage of traditional music of Gaelic culture. Oh, wow. And honoring the memory of those in law enforcement who have gone before us especially those who've given up their lives up on the wall. And here he is. He's the mayor, Thomas Koch there, with yeah. Senator John Keenan. All the elected officials out. Absolutely, and the Grand Marshal. Yes. Courtney Ferdios waving to the crowd. See Emily Lebo oh, there, a Noel DeBona. Doug Gutro in the background there. See Council Dave McCarthy, House Speaker Ron Mariano. Representative you know, They Jackie love getting Kane. out in and greeting, greeting the city. Absolutely. Councilor Ann Mahoney there. And I was telling you earlier, Christine, yes. about two grand marshals this year. All right. So it's Manic Community mm -hmm. Health Center mm -hmm. here in Quincy and the Quincy Health Department. So two grand marshals. The mayor told me that he specifically wanted to recognize and thank them for their response to the pandemic. Oh, terrific. Yeah. No, that's wonderful. And man, and it, it really was right on the front lines uh, with testing, with vaccination clinics. Yes. And they have not stopped. Oh, it's it continues. Yeah, they yes. are right there and they're working in the school department. Um, as well, right in coordination with the Quincy and Health Department. And just serving the community in such a, at such an important time. And we saw the new uh, Health Commissioner, uh, Marley Castley, not too long ago. That's nice he represented too, because they were both just so integral to the. Absolutely, he took over um, in the middle of the pandemic and continued on with the contact tracing, which was a big part of yes. what the local public health departments are doing. Um, to try and contain the spread. Yes. And unfortunately, still doing it right. today. Yeah. You know. Oh. So this is Worcester Light and Sound. Yes, they they combined an organ with their band music. It is amazing. Yes. It's equivalent to a 70-piece concert marching band. <laughs> Oh, and there it goes. There are 600 different pipes in that. Uh, antique drum cymbals can perform a variety of marches, it, it, waltzes, ragtime music. It really looks, um, it looks really cool. Yes. It's the drum with the flag. It is a 100% yeah. pneumatic system operating the Wurlitzer Music Rolls. <laughs> Very entertaining. Not, not something you'd see at the local mall, for sure. Correct. <laughs> right. And here we have uh, the Morissette Post. 
Um, of course, we really want to send our condolences out uh -huh. uh, to the family of Joe Brill. Mm -hmm. pa passed away unexpectedly on Thanksgiving Day, just oh, across the just way here, outside of Veterans Stadium. Oh, the uh, commander of the unit, uh, when he passed away, only 65 years old. Oh. Uh, Send our thoughts and prayers to his family. Absolutely. Uh, I know arrangements have not yet been announced. Uh, uh, strong supporter of veterans' issues for many, many years, and also an avid baseball fan. Yeah. Known for that. Mm -hmm. um, d had a heart attack back in 2013, actually, uh, and recovered from it yeah. in time to see the Red Sox win uh, well the World Series great. that year. Yeah. This is the Waltham American Legion Band. You hear about every year the, these folks uh, come to the parade and also the Flag Day Parade. Yeah, it's nice to see so many um, other communities come and share in our celebration here. And the uh, they're competing as well for prizes. That's right. Yeah, there is That's right, there is a and band that's, uh, that's announced at North Quincy High School, that's correct? That's right. Yeah, they will know later today yes. how they did. I'm told this is the first American band to ever perform in the USSR. Oh. They've been playing in the US and Europe since 1948. Right, they really have a great sound. About 50 members, active veterans, retired veterans. Of course, patriotic music is their specialty, yes. being an American Legion band. And we have a familiar face here. <laughs> Speaking of Fenway Park. Yes. <laughs> here's Tessie. The green monster. Yeah, Tessie the green monster. The great awesome thing was is I was able to go to game five of the ALCS. Oh, There's really? nothing like Fenway Park at playoffs. It was nice uh, that uh, they were allowing fans back in. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they had a great season this year. So it's great to see Tessie. <laughs> Oh, this is oh look, it's snowing. Festive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least on this floor. Terrific. <laughs> snowing with flamingos, so I hope they're keeping them warm. <laughs> <laughs> you got the best of both worlds. It's called Santa's Summer House. <laughs> yeah. Even Santa has. To yeah, summer, Santa yeah. needs a break. That's right. <laughs> the Branch of Steel Band. They're a perennial favorite as well. I've seen them perform at the uh, Arts Fest celebration, yes. which unfortunately and didn't happen this, this year. But. And they do encourage youth to get involved with their program and uh, be involved with music. Absolutely. So. seeing a, a tropics theme <laughs> hearing that during our parade this year it's keeping me warm i will say that it's the dancing queen it's, it's, <laughs> it's got a nice feel wouldn't be a parade without antique cars oh right <laughs> yes we thank the old colony model t club for participating in the fun today. And important, another important vehicle here. Certainly the American Red Cross is frequently in Quincy conducting community blood drives. Uh, there's one coming up, I want to say tomorrow. Yeah, oh at, all right. At the uh, Sons of Italy Hall up on Quarry Street. Redcrossblood.org or 1-800-RED-CROSS. Here comes the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School Blue Raiders marching band. So they've traveled a distance to be yes, here. Yes, City of Presidents have. today. You see the youngsters enjoying them. I think they're going to perform for us right here at our yes. camera location, which is thoughtful of them. <laughs> It's nice to see how the youth can get involved in their high schools and communities and to kind of learn a skill like the, the, the flag waving there in, in marching band. 
Well, if, if athletics is not your thing, you know. Right. Um, it's it's options. nice that they, that they can, you know, and, and then be able to perform if they want to get out and um, be a part of a performance. This is a perfect way to do it with their friends. And it provides them the opportunity to uh, travel as well if they're into uh, competitions. Yeah, that's which, right. Uh, which this, this particular band has uh, traveled and performed and won many uh, awards. 2015, they were in Dover, Delaware for the U.S. Band's National Marching Band Championships, and they won in their division. Oh, that's terrific. Absolutely. And of course, they give back to their local communities as well, performing at various events in Somerset and Berkeley. It's nice if a lot of schools do provide, say, classes in, in to take the instruments. So then to be able to go out and actually perform with them is great. Great for the uh, families to see their yes. children out in public as well and watch them on television. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Just joining us, thank you. You're watching uh, live coverage of the 68th Annual Quincy Christmas Parade. A lot of people out today, all bundled up. It's nice to be back, right? It really is nice <laughs> to be back, yeah. Yes. I want to remind folks, too, that you'll be able to uh, watch replays of this, both on uh, Quincy Access Television. That's right. As well as QATV.org. And if you missed the uh, football game, that's already up on the website. Yes, and I think there the live stream is happening right now, so you could be on a tablet, your phone, and watching us live. That's what I love technology. <laughs> they could be watching us in Australia right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> We're in summertime right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> on Thanksgiving Day, they have the Macy's Day Parade was back yes. in full force. Yes. All the balloon floats and crowds, and it was gr it was great to see. And the weather cooperated nicely for that this year. We were talking about earlier that in 2019, when we both did this parade, there was an impending snowstorm, <laughs> so it was much shorter. Yes. Not as many bands, and we thought that was a big deal, not realizing that we wouldn't even have one the following year. So That's right. we, it, it really is great to be back and seeing everyone out and um, all the bands back that we, because how many are there again? There are 15, 15 bands? Yes. bands today. That's yeah. a lot. So it is a full complement Christmas parade. We're expecting all of the favorites, of course. The uh, Shriners will have a full presence. The uh, Marines Toys for Tots program will be here. Oh, that's always the big. Collecting pick. toys uh, for needy youngsters across the region. Yeah, and then my favorite feature, the Clydesdales. Oh, yes. <laughs> really looking I forward do, to that. I do love how this season really is about, you know, the giving back. There is so many opportunities and way ways you can do so. Even a simple toy, passing it in to Toys for Tots makes a difference. Sure. And they collect a lot. Absolutely. Millions over the years. Right. Yeah. So it, it's really a great a great time of year. Put you in a good mood. And I like how they're decked out in their Santa Santa hats. <laughs> it's a great look. Again, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School Blue Raiders marching band.
I mean, I'm impressed to march and play an instrument at the same time. That's pretty good. Lots of coordination. <laughs> yes. That. Yes. Correct. <laughs> I'm trying to chew gum and rub your stomach at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Cor> exactly. <laughs> There's Mabel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these uh, antique car owners name their cars. They're, they're part That's of the terrific. family. <laughs> Characters. Yeah, I see a, uh, looks like a reindeer. That's Miss Piggy there. Yeah. I'm guessing. I get it. It's definitely a pig. <laughs> <laughs> and a reindeer, yes. Or a moose. Oh, okay. I, I, All yeah. Right. <laughs> they, they don't have a staple. Yeah. I, they're festive. Let's just say that. <laughs> Moose would have come down from Maine. I don't think we have many in Massachusetts. No, not many at all. <laughs> uh, David Prouty, also another perennial favorite. The Marching Panthers will be performing here soon. They're out of Spencer, Massachusetts. Oh, so another distance to come to yeah. entertain us here in Quincy. They also perform on the uh, the circuit, as they as it's called, the band circuit. Now, who judges the the bands at North Quincy today? Do you do we yeah, know that's that? That's a good question. I yeah. Don't know. Um, I'm guessing uh, folks from the music department and the public schools, perhaps. I'm sure the parade committee has a judging panel. They all sound great. Having a sleigh ride together. Yes. <laughs> they really do these the when you hear the Christmas music coming from the band, it's just it's it's so festive. Well there's nothing like a, a live band performance. You, know, you, can, you can watch it on yeah. streaming, you can listen to it on a podcast, but to see it no, live. To see it person, live, it's really nice. have an effect on especially woodwind instruments. Oh yes. Oh. What a great sound. Oh, even a little <laughs> neigh there. I like that. <laughs> I wonder if that was improvised. Yes. <laughs> Part of the repertoire. That's right. <laughs> Their new lodge now over on Greenleaf Street. Mm -hmm. Done a beautiful job remodeling the building. And here we have. Uh oh, look out! <laughs> the Shriners are in town. <laughs> You're going to see them in a moment. <laughs> and there's the Daredevil Shriner. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't think I dare. To get myself behind those wheels. I don't know. <laughs> it looks fun though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they are fun, but they of course uh, do great, great work. Yeah, they do. Bring they a do. lot of laughter and happiness uh, to youngsters and 
older youngsters too. <laughs> They're just <laughs> yes, big kids at it. heart. <laughs> I love it. The number one supporters of the Shriners Hospitals mm -hmm. for Children, uh, they do amazing work. Like I said, there's something for everyone in the that you can participate in the community, whether it's with the Shriners or, you know, your local food bank. There's so much where you can be a part of something good. And Absolutely. The Shriners are do do great work. Shriners they date back to the early '60s, I believe. Yeah. And uh, you'll see them, of course, parades like this, but also private functions, mm -hmm. uh, fundraising events. And, of course, many, many hours at the Shriners uh, Burns Institute in Boston. Right, Shriners right. Shriners Hospital. They put on a big circus up in Willington every year. I know that. And, uh, and I understand that the clowns are where they're out in the community a lot Absolutely. at events. They're, they're, um, they're, their presence there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just in Felt case bad. you were nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that'll wake you up, right? <laughs> get a ride home in that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fun. <laughs> That'll be different. You could take the little blue uh, the, the <laughs> blue car there. Okay. I'll get a ride. Yeah, that looks fun. The only time <laughs> this, this can happen on Hancock Street. Yes, right. <laughs> During the Christmas parade. <laughs> Well, I could start kid, when my kids start to drive. I could start there. <laughs> just <laughs> a little, little yeah, go -karts. just that little <laughs> blue one. Yeah, little, you know, that would work. Probably wouldn't frighten me so much. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> with the them behind the wheel, I know. <laughs> the um, the Shriners are driving. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You just can't help but smile <laughs> I know. when you see grown men <laughs> in little go-karts little, yes. <laughs> swirling around <laughs> the middle of Hancock Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the Masons, many Shriners are also members of the Masons. Oh. Or all of them. <laughs> They're a big supporter of uh, children with their, the Shriners Hospitals for Children. And here. As they say, here come the clowns. I was just going to <laughs> let you say it, Joe. I like it. Send in the clowns. That's I right. won't sing that song today. It's too, we need to keep it light. Uh, but. <laughs> Clowning is the, is the sh one of the Shriners' biggest uh, their their biggest performances, where they send them out in the community. They actually have clown college. They do. They yes. have to go and learn how to be a clown. Yes. Because you don't want to get that wrong. No. <laughs> Can't get that wrong. You know. Think about that. You know, we all know how to <laughs> clown around. That's right. But I'm um, <laughs> but, but to do it professionally, yes. you need to go to school. The, <laughs> I do love the little train here. Yes. It's, I love the bit when like 50 of them come out of a small car. <laughs> uh, hey there. <laughs> We've got one with the <laughs> one with a little doggy. Yes. Yeah. Having a good time. 
all dressed up for Christmas. <laughs> you can't help but smile at clowns. That's right. I know people say that they are afraid of clowns, but no. They are. They do bring joy well, and I laughter. I see nobody running away from no, them here. The kids are loving here. it. here. Yeah. yeah, they are. There's they that are. invisible dog you were talking about. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to look up how what 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 the clown college uh, pertains. What the is it a is semester? When you yeah. What, what you have to what <laughs> you, you have to do your... is it a is it a what kind of classes? And I'm That's sure right. it's like uh, flower squirting, pulling <laughs> the um, the handkerchief out of the yes. sleeve, that sort of thing. But they are fun. There's this personal transportation device. <laughs> yes. Uh, you officially get your red nose when yeah, you graduate. Uh, correct. <laughs> yeah. Get the red nose there. It's a lot of fun. There's the fire brigade, so the uh, Quincy Fire Department has some backup just in case yeah. they need it. <laughs> and, and, and the <laughs> and Marine One there. Oh, fun. You can tell they're really enjoying their time here today. Some of these folks have come up from the Cape uh, to be with us today. Yeah, that's awesome. Cape Cod Division. Again, another way for us to maybe catch a ride home. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's any room in those for us, Christine. No, no. <laughs> have to hang on the side. Yes. <laughs> they're having a great time. Yeah, they're steering it, not with a wheel, but it looks like just a, a stick there. The tiller. Yes. Yeah. Yes. actual uh, vehicles. These are, I saw one uh, said Oldsmobile on it. You can ride the rumble seat there. <laughs> yeah, that, that's where I'll go. <laughs> right in the back. Oh, here we go. We have lots of showcasing here with the shrine. We're putting on a, awesome. a display for the crowd, sure. The crowd has built since uh, the parade first started. Definitely uh, two or three deep now down in front of Central Middle School. Yeah, would you say we're at the halfway point? I would say exactly about the halfway, yes. That's why they call it Central Middle School. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fine. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> There's the more modern uh, Shriners on the motorcycles. Oh yeah, just went right, by. <laughs> right. Oh, here comes some f mo f more transportation, which <laughs> really fun. Oh my gosh! In the smallest trucks I've ever seen. Now you know the parades <laughs> in town. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> We've got... <laughs> oh, these are great. Any kid would want to jump in and drive one of these things. They're the mini haulers unit, is what they're called. And they look like almost precise replicas of like an 18 wheeler, yeah. a uh, tanker truck. Awesome. Flat bed, yeah. We've got the, and they're all decked out for Christmas and the there holidays. There's some daredevils here. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I'm really enjoying this show. I love the Sa Santa right, right in the uh, the oil rig there. <laughs> well, you can see how kids who are going through you know such a traumatic yes. time at the hospitals would, would enjoy would, something like this just to take their so mind true. off. That's so true. That's yeah. so true. You need a lot of laughter exactly. and keeping it light, and you know. And they to see their children enjoying themselves must be that's a pleasure. As well. Yes, and that's so a blessing for sure for them. We certainly thank the Shriners for all the good they yeah, do. They what a show! We get more. We get more with more of the parade. As I up said, it's a, yes. it's a full-blown Christmas parade. It. it is back and better than ever. Right. Twenty-one. For sure. Norfolk County Sheriff's Office, Pat McDermott mm -hmm. and his crew. Look at a festive float on the way. And I'm guessing that there's going to be some singing. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, the parade theme winner for the third year in a row, <laughs> Quincy uh -huh. Accountant, Dolly DePisa. The theme, by the way, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it is. Nice. And there's Pat singing. Love it. Along with it's really Jubilee. looking a lot like Christmas for sure. Out in the snow. Proud It'll Quincy Rotarian. <laughs> stories of tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. It's the most wonderful time. I think he sang at the Flag Day Parade. Absolutely. I recall, yes. Happy group. Okay. And McGruff taking a bite out of crime. Mm -hmm. McGruff has been a national public service announcement since the 1980s, wow. as I understand. And, and look at what we have here. The Hallamore Clydesdales. They are magnificent to see in person. Oh my goodness. Just a stunning display. And they're out of Lakeville, Massachusetts. And the Hallamore Company of uh, Holbrook yep. has been uh, sponsoring the Clydesdales here in the parade for, oh, that's I think, 50 years. One of, the, one of the longest running units here in the parade every year. Love to see them. Yeah, it's nice. Now you can't ride a Clydesdale, Christine. I don't know if you know that. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that a fun fact? <laughs> <laughs> I like when we bring fun facts to the... <laughs> if you tried to sit on one, I mean, you'd have to yes. ride side saddle. Okay, all because right. Because your legs would be... I've out ridden so a horse <laughs> once. It's not my... I, You know, my husband and I just started the show Yellowstone, uh, where it's all about... We're learning a lot. It's uh -huh. about life in Wyoming. So, that, so that's probably as close to horse riding. And me seeing a... Uh, uh, the horses here in person. Yes. So, <laughs> but it's great they can come to the parade and kind of show off, showcase, be a beautiful, magnificent showcase. The wagon they were pulling, by the way, is a Studebaker. Okay. Yeah, from back in the uh, late 1800s, and they put that on display at the Hallamore uh, Trucking Company in Holbrook. I hear another familiar holiday tune coming in our, out of our next band. Some joy to the world. Whaler Marching Band from New Bedford, mm -hmm. the Whaling City. And they have uh, they have won awards here. This they have. In the years past, they are excellent. Oh yeah, you can hear it in their sound. It looks like everyone has d kind of have their own unique hats. All festive, they look great. 
They are in military precision. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can see it. Wonderful. All the way from the South Coast. Yes. Well, when you think City. about how, you know, the time and to kind of bring their, their talents here is wonderful. Quincy 400 banner. Oh, it's on the way. 400th anniversary is in 2025. That's right. Yes. Be here before you know it. I. And I'm sure big plans underway. There is a uh, website, actually. Quincy 400 has its own website you can go to and learn about some of the ideas that are being tossed about to celebrate. And oh, it's Catwoman it, is here. It's there she goes. She's, Again. Been, she's very <laughs> she busy. Quick, yeah. <laughs> she, she's got that was a quick, people quick to appearance. Save. <laughs> and then we have the float of Quincy 400. Yes. <laughs> well, that'll be an exciting time for the city to celebrate. And 400 years is a long time, <laughs> you know. They're planning, I think, a whole year of not of just not just a day, you know. A whole yeah, kind of, a year of, of celebrations. celebrations. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's great. They have a website for it as yes. well. And if folks have ideas, they can contribute. Oh, that's terrific! Well. Yeah. That's awesome. Get the community involved. The planning. So this is the Joseph Case High School Marching Band, the Cardinals. And this is, what, uh, I'm told, an all-volunteer, so it's not part of school credit. Oh. They want to do this thing. Well, they sound awesome. Also, we have won numerous competitions, both mm here -hmm. and elsewhere. Center in Telecare. This is a float, uh, their first, obviously, a new business, so their first foray into the parade right in downtown Quincy. They are a tech company uh, that staffs per diem nurses and CNAs mm -hmm. for skilled nursing homes and rehabs. And they have their own app. Oh, <laughs> that, that works. Of course. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Yeah, right, right. And oh, they're new to Quincy. They are brand new at 1515 Hancock Street. So we welcome them awesome. both to Quincy and to the parade. Yes, welcome. UMass Police has a presence here, state police, of course. Helping lead the way and light the way. So I was going to ask you, you don't have all your Christmas shopping done yet, do you? Or I do you? I do not. You do not. No. All right. When do you usually get that finished by? So, stores are open on Christmas Day, right, Christine? <laughs> right. <laughs> Say, by, hopefully by 6 o'clock, <laughs> Christmas Eve, we'll hold you to it. Okay. <laughs> so, from right down the road, uh, Randolph High yes, School. Yes, right next door. And these are the uh, Blue Devils. Marching band. Yeah. Doing a little jingle 
about rock for Yeah, it, it does make you just want to sway at your seat. That's what <laughs> all these fans, they sound great. It must be nice for them too to get back together. Oh, no person. doubt about it. And be able to do what they love to do. I mean, I know a lot of fans and orchestras tried to do the Zoom thing uh, during the pandemic. It's just not the same. No. It's having a live performance. I mean, we, technology was terrific during that time to get us through, but it's not the real deal, Absolutely. you know? Yeah. It was a, a necessary uh, yes. you know, element of what happened, but I'm glad to have him back in person. Correct. Yes, and speaking of schools and... Yes, the poster contest winners. So we here at Quincy Access Television, so proud once again to sponsor the uh, co the uh, poster contest competition, along with the Quincy Arts. Do you have a lot of entries? Many. Yes. Many, many. 1,000 One entries. Wow. Awesome. That's from uh, elementary and also from the... Uh, That's a large amount. Yes, from the That's Quincy awesome. Catholic that Academy as well. And the winning uh, posters are on display in the front window of the Quincy Sun. Oh, wonderful. In downtown Quincy, yeah. So these, so the contest winners are on the float. Absolutely. Uh, looking happy with all their friends. That's kind of an awesome prize. Pretty amazing yeah. artwork. Yeah. Um, from some of these youngsters, and I can't draw oh, a straight line. Oh, right, no, right, <laughs> right. I wouldn't be winning that contest. <laughs> that That's terrific. And we have... I want to thank the uh, Quincy Art Association, too, for helping us with the judging. Oh, wonderful. Next up, Quincy Salvation Army. Over there on Baxter Street, I had a chance to meet the uh, the new captains, Adam and Amanda Boynton, uh, just taking over this year. Oh, wonderful. Yep. So some new leadership there. And if you have some change in your pocket, and when you're hitting your shopping at your local store, throw some in there. They'll, uh, throw some money in there. You'll be hearing the uh, familiar sound of the, the bells, the, bells the red kettle drive. Yep. Yeah, and Quincy has um, a lot of posts where this is set up, right, at different Most stores. Most grocery stores, absolutely, mm -hmm. yep. And, and uh, sometimes you might see the mayor or oh, sure. a local um, rep. They'll have the, what they call the celebrity kettle. Yes. So elected officials, uh, different community leaders. Wonderful. Will be there, yep. No, it's, it's an easy way to give, and they do great work. They do fantastic work, and it stays right here in the community mm -hmm. as well. Next up, the Immaculate Heart of Mary High School Band. And they've been participating here for 20 years. Oh, wonderful. They were formed back in 1984. They won several time. first place awards. is terrific. Go for a swim, go for a workout. Kid, they have kids programs there. Summer camp is very, very popular. It is. We're lucky enough in Quincy, they have the indoor uh, indoor facility. They do, they do. Track facility. And There's Trevor, the still walker. Yes, I, I, Trevor impresses me. Remember we I saw him at the uh, flag yeah, we day We did, parade. we yeah. did. It's very <laughs> impressive. Here's another favorite coming up <laughs> after Trevor. Ah, Wally uh, is yeah, here. Wally. Good thing they put Tessie first, though. Yeah, yeah we love <laughs> Wally. Always bringing smiles. Absolutely. Always silly. 
couldn't quite do it this year, but like you say, it was a it was a good run. For oh, the it was Red a Sox. great run. It was so <laughs> awesome, and nothing like our our cities that rally behind Absolutely. our playoff teams, and the Red Sox is one of them. Of course, uh, the passing of Jerry Remy this oh, year. Oh yes, also, yes. Yeah, he really popularized Wally. He did. The Marblehead High School yeah. Days. The uh, Marblehead Music Department was awarded Best Community for Music Education 2019 from the National Association of Music Merchants. And that was the fifth year in a row. That's that amazing. down from the North Shore. Yeah, the North Shore, <laughs> yeah. See a we lot of uh, South Shore presence, Western Mass, and it, everyone's represented here. Oh. Including Williams Coal and mm -hmm. Oil. Ready for the holiday there. Familiar. Quincy High School yeah. float here. Quincy High. They're excited for the holidays. Nice job on that float. Yes, yeah, yeah. very nice. It's like a oh, uh, it's a train. It's the MBT. It's the red line. <laughs> the, the red line. Ah, uh, the king and queen. Quincy and High the School. Clayton yeah. Corley and uh, Mia Heim. That's a special place to be. Part of the Royal Court, that's awesome. Of course, the cheerleaders. Well, that's a large presence here with the band coming up. It's both, correct? Our very own, that's right. Yes, the combined Quincy yes. North Quincy High School it's marching awesome. bands. It's a sight to see. They debuted these uh, new uniforms a few oh years yeah, ago. Oh yeah, they look they look awesome. Combining the colors of uh, Quincy and North Quincy High School, the blue with the red. And the proud flags of both really schools. A, yeah, an impressive uh, showing. Yeah, very much so. our community Absolutely. that's awesome and of course the homecoming community from north quincy high school lovely <laughs> it's right. nice they're both represented absolutely right coming off their big thanksgiving day win come from behind win yeah and then you see both sets of cheerleaders from each school have been represented here uh today in with the band because everybody needs a good cheerleader <laughs> right <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, that's, that's a competition in itself. Yes. Uh, the oh, no, for, for sure. sure. Yes. For sure. Years ago, my uh, sister was a cheerleader, and as, as a supportive brother, I was required to go to oh, yes. <laughs> every competition. And I bet she appreciated that. <laughs> oh, here I we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Hoisting the trophy yeah, proud. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Oh, remember Child World from <laughs> downtown Quincy from years ago. It says Tales, tales, yep, go right tales ahead. of the Glories of Christmases Long, Long Ago. Yes. 
Well, Christmas has looked different now. Uh, you know, my son wants an iPhone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, God. Uh, Doesn't he want a top or something? Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> But there's nothing like watching. We watched Home Alone last. Some things don't. The traditions of your Christmas past, Home Alone, It's a Wonderful Life, all the movies. It, there's something still ho feels like home about Absolutely. Christmas, even though our technology our, has, has moved forward. We still like the feeling of an old home Christmas. Christmas Vacation, that movie's quite <laughs> funny. You know, there's lots of... Um, yesteryear in sprinkled in with, with the iPhones and iPads. No and matter how old you get, right? <laughs> exactly. Here's a kid of Christmas. It's so true. Yeah. It's so true. Some classic cars here. We just saw an Oldsmobile oh, uh, Cutlass yeah. uh, cruise on yeah, Showcasing here in the parade. Well, this, I'm going to guess, is a, this is a Pontiac Grand mm -hmm. Prix. Showing my age here. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned toys for yes, tots earlier. Yes, we did. And here they are, yeah. And they do so much. Every year they are here collecting uh, both donations and toys as well. Right. Someone just collected a toy right there. That's great. And that's awesome. They're they're doing the work along Folks, the parade route. Yes, putting their dollars in the barrels. And you know it'll go to a good cause. Yeah, it's for sure. They collect new unwrapped toys mm -hmm. for needy youngsters all over the region. And it's going to be a challenge this year with the uh, supply chain issues. Oh, uh, right, to get right. Some of the things the kids want. So any donation would be much it's, appreciated. It's very much appreciated. Yeah. Also from down the road a piece, the Weymouth High School. Right band. next door. Yes. I knew you were going to mention it earlier. Weymouth will be celebrating its uh, that's, 400. That's right. Soon as well. Yeah. And then you were saying Plymouth's already celebrated. Yes, they, well, 2020 would have been. Yes. Their 400th. But it's nice to mark the, you know, the historic occasion for all these towns and communities that we all reside in and love. And at Weymouth, they call it the Weymouth High School Community Bay. So yes. All right. There you go. Happy to have them here in our community today. We have more cars. Name the car. That's another old <laughs> Like uh, former Ward 3 Councilor Kevin Kaufman behind the wheel. There's another Oldsmobile. That's a 442, so that's kind of a souped up Cutlass. All right. And Uncle Sam. <laughs> oh, Uncle Sam is back. Nice to see him. <laughs> Looking very patriotic there in the very much red so. Oldsmobile with his red, white, and blue. I noticed a popular event this weekend is going out and cutting down your own tree. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and I feel like it's a little too early, but it might be next weekend for me. Is that right? I don't think we'll be cutting down our own tree, but <laughs> we'll be Somebody getting one. Somebody will have one. done that for I you. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. However, it's nice. Everybody's like up and ready to, I've even seen, I saw Christmas lights up before Thanksgiving. Oh, yes. How oh, about yes. you? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Everyone just uh, is yearning for festivity and fun. I think maybe folks just kind of left them up <laughs> and then just switched <laughs> them on. <laughs> I know, I know, right? And here is an interesting elf we have here. I think we're going to have some, some fire here in a yeah. moment. It, yes. Something <laughs> that they would never, 
let me do, and we that's fine. We, we'll, we'll watch we gladly. We have to get the, uh, the Shriners uh, Fire Department back here, just, <laughs> yes. in, just in case. Yes, get one of the <laughs> trucks back here. This is amazing. <laughs> Literally lighting up yes. Hancock Street. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Every time I'm at the parade, I'm like, okay, here's the next guest for my show, All Friends Cabaret. <laughs> because my show is all about bringing on people yes. doing unique talents. And believe me, that is unique. And local performers. Local, like local, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a talent everybody can do. For no, sure. Yeah. for sure. Oh, the Quincy Park Conservancy. Yeah. What a great, festive bunch of looking kids. They're. They are a nonprofit uh -huh. uh, founded to protect and promote the natural and historical parklands, beaches, and other open spaces in the city of Quincy. And there are many. Indeed. Fall up right behind by the new Magnolia oh, Jazz Oh, awesome. Band. And I have that Dixieland Oh, for sure, yes. New Orleans Jazz. And this is the truck we hope we never have to put in use. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> correct. We like it decked only for, out only in for all the parades. Yes, yes right. <laughs> DPW. But it's good to know we have it if we need it. Uh, for sure. And it says Merry Christ for Christmas from all the Who's at the DPW. <laughs> with the Grinch right on the back. Now there's another talent. Ah, the cycling Murrays have made it. I wonder if they cycled all the way up here to the parade. Jeez. <laughs> that, that is a skill. They are a family, the Murray family. Yep. Uh, been performing since 1987, up and down the East Coast. That's I can barely ride on two wheels. I know, right? On one. <laughs> I know. And they have a very young member there, too, part yes. of their pack. The newest Murray. Yes. <laughs> the Boston Windjammers. I saw them at the uh, Flag Day Parade as well. Yeah, that's right. Almost 40 years old now. From Franklin, Massachusetts. Getting very uh, close to... Exciting. <laughs> I know I act like a kid. I'm acting like a kid, but who doesn't? <laughs> the moment everyone waits for. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, it's, it's a, it's, it is it's 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 the most wonderful time of year, and this uh, particular guy makes it, th it makes it the best, so. <clears throat> Quincy Fire yeah. Department represented yeah. there. Great to see them today. The Arna Guard and then uh, the littlest firefighters. Oh, <laughs> right. They must really be enjoying this. Uh, uh. There's Chief Joe Jackson. Uh, yeah. And finally, Christine. Oh, here he is. <laughs> All the way from the North Pole to Quincy, Massachusetts. There he is. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. You got your, you have time to make your lists. Riding it up uh, ladder yeah, two. Awesome. Looks The tiller ladder. One of the newest additions to the uh, Quincy Fire Department apparatus. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> He'll so be what? busy on the 24th. Yeah, right? absolutely. It's good time. It's time for, for us today. It's awesome. <laughs> He's been busy this weekend. Yeah, Just for on sure. A helicopter yesterday. Right, I know. <laughs> I can hear kids yelling, <laughs> yelling at him behind us, all excited to see him. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the 68th annual. What a, annual what a wonderful parade. parade. Yes. So yes. festive and uh, just a great time. Great time to be Fantastic with you. Fantastic to see folks out enjoying it again after not being able to be back uh, here last year. So it's good to be back, absolutely. Yeah. Great to be with you, Christine. Oh, same, same here, and we wish everyone just a wonderful holiday season. Uh, this just kicked it off so beautifully, the season. Absolutely, we thank everybody for joining us today. We invite you to, uh, again, watch it again on Quincy Access Television and uh, also on QATV.org, along with all of the holiday festivities that have happened uh, over the weekend uh, and the Thanksgiving Day football game yeah. uh, as well. There's a lot going on and it's uh, it's great to be back and it was a wonderful parade today. It really was, it's great to be with you. Yeah, Christine. same here, You're same here, welcome. thank you so much. For all of us here at Quincy Access Television, I'm Joe Catalano for Christine Cheever. Have a very very happy holiday season.